Hello, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles X, where we have no partners with us right now. Why is that? Well, it, it's for a couple reasons. First of all, I went and got all but one character up to maximum affinity through the support mission. Which, I mean, hey, it, it was weird that Mia started off with zero hearts. I imagine that she would have been at least somewhat fond of us, given the quest line that it took to actually get her to join the team. But, yeah, everyone except for this lovely lady is now at a full five hearts. And the reason she isn't is because I unlocked a heart-to-heart -heart with her that she is at 100% of the time, and thus I couldn't add her back to the party without doing that heart-to-heart. -heart. What do you know, a thing I complained about at one point actually ended up affecting me. So, for starters, we're gonna do that heart-to-heart, -heart, just so that I can actually have the freedom to add her to the party again if I so choose. And then we're gonna pick up a lot of quests, because I noticed a lot of quests while I was going around town, frantically searching for more lobsters. You see, I followed a guide to find all the lobsters, because I didn't want to look for them myself. And apparently, when you collect the 49th, which is in a very easy place to find and doesn't show up until you've got the first 48. A cutscene plays, so I got that good to go. I also went and found the info for this quest because it's not fun to find info and it's not the greatest gameplay to watch. Plus, the people were just saying like, oh, I've got a recipe for this food, you can have it. So, really, it's nothing that needed to be seen. And also, I traded for the Gold Nopopotamus because... Yeah, it was just talking to people, and they're like, oh, I'll trade this for that. And it was just a long chain of talking to people until I finally got the thing. So that's what I did between episodes, in addition to changing my skills a little bit for some more dynamic combat. See, now I've got fast forward and secondary accelerator should be nice. I may swap to Drifter at some point because I'm really feeling the limits of four skills. And Drifter, you get a full five. But yeah, should still be pretty effective. But anyway, as I go to find Murderous's heart to heart, which is south of the West Gate, I will inform you that yes, I am still sick. I am as annoyed by this as you are at this point. Because... Oh wait, no, we did this one. Uh, we need to go to Deliverance Park. Wait a sec. Did we do this one? I feel like we did this one. Yeah, we did this one. So, if I just didn't have a cat, I could have gotten Murderous to join the team. Oh, well. Cats are good anyway. But let's go find Murderous. But yeah, uh, yes, I'm still sick, getting a little bit frustrated because it pretty much never ends. I would really like it to, but, you know, I've still got a bit of congestion, which... Yeah, that's been going for almost a full week now. I've uh, got this scratchy cough, which you may have heard me... Well, you heard at least one cough in my Twilight Princess video, if you watched that. And you also probably heard me complaining about it more than anything in the Twilight Princess video. So, yeah, that is real. And because of it... I'm actually getting a bit of a sore throat, simply because coughing all the time is not really good for your throat. Oh, there she is. So really, it's just... Dude, you're, you're kind of up on the curb. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, it's my kitty. But yeah, it's, it's not pleasant. And freaking, it is currently Wednesday evening. And this current bout of illness, I started feeling last Wednesday night. 
So, you know, it's been a full week, more than a full week since it first started coming on and it's still not gone and I really want it to be gone. I want to feel healthy again, damn it. But whatever, enough about me. Let's see about Murderous. Okay. Well, yeah, cats are great. Okay. No. No. Neither of these... Neither of these seems right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. Bye. All right, so with that done, now I can actually recruit the murderess again. And thus get everyone to five hearts, because she's the only one who's not. But we've got quests to grab, including this one over here. Ooh, Kirsty. What do you got? Okay, listen carefully. All right. Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Oh. That's that's a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Uh huh. Though we didn't discover Mira until we crashed here, didn't we? Like, we didn't go expecting to get to Mira, we just went and then got to Mira. So, why would they have data for our original solar system, but also data for Mira? Like, what's the deal there? Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it'll take more than 20 years to get every planet in the universe connected. Okay. I bet I've got it already. Ooh, and it gives a G2 booster probe. Uh, yep, I've got the everything. Alright. Okay. Hey, I got the stuff. Uh-huh. Just so you know, this is less than half of an individual shipment of Meranium. Like, I, I'm making mad bank here. Yep, I got that too. Thanks. Uh-huh. Yep. I have. Yeah, he goes about things the wrong way. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sure. Uh-huh. All right. So, I guess we'll do that at some point. 
Uh, let's get into our skill so that we can fly around and more expeditiously find all the quests that are out there. Eh, we do qualify for every affinity mission at this point, at least in terms of affinity requirements. Oh, hey, it's you. Do you? You're the Definian, just without your numbers and letters before your name. Yeah. Okay. No, nothing. No. <laughs> it's true, but not lately. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Oh boy, asking around. The most fun part of any quest in this whole game. So, just flying once more over the industrial, er, residential district, this isn't industrial. Eh, looks like nothing else here. So let's head over to the commercial district. Yeah, that's what that is. Because I know there are several quests and whatnot around here, including the turn-in of a certain card. You, you bought more. Don't know. I already found it. See, look. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm, no. Uh-huh. Oh. What, you want me to trade one of these projectors, or hollow figures, or do you want me to trade away the diving bottoms? Because, either way. Okay, who are you over here? With a name like that, I imagine, yes, you are a Rothian. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, no. I am not going to be a jerk. Oh. Uh-huh. All right. Maybe. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Uh huh. Oh. Uh oh. All right. Okay. Alright. Though, would it not be more expedient to simply help her? Alright. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
And now to go searching for more quests, because I know more are out there. Oh. Yes, we need to turn this in, don't we? Uh-huh. I have. Yep. Indeed. And it's tasty as all hell. Oh. Yeah, it does. Yep. Well, he wants something that can be made on the battlefield. And this is the one that requires the least preparation. So I'm thinking this is probably the thing. Like, my personal favorite is this one right here. But it takes a couple hours to make, and it requires specific ingredients. This might be pretty easy, because you just need the, the bird and then the stuff. But then again, I wouldn't know. But this, you, you just take what you've got, throw it in a pot, call it food. So it, it may not always end up being the same tastiness, but it's something useful on the battlefield, which is what he wants. Um, not quite. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Uh huh. Oh. So I get to find the ingredients, huh? Yeah. What do you need? Oh, stuff I've already got? Can do. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. And there you go. Yeah. Have fun in there. Looks good. Oh. Okay. Kind of. Uh huh. Does it? Because, you know, the mouth is the one part of the body where if it screams, we'll hear it. And I guess the all caps does say that it's happening, so... Why did I doubt you? 
in before she also thinks it's amazing. Yeah. Wow. fun with that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Uh, yes. Oh. Okay. All right. And now, to get back in our skill and to search for more quests. Seriously, there's a bunch out there. And also, there's a lobster right here. And there is indeed a cutscene, apparently. Uh, you? Hmm, no. I'm Redmond. That's not fabulous. What? They don't test new scales in the commercial district. Ooh, Scale Wars 2 The Skeleting. Sounds fun. Uh oh. not my birthday. That's not a good reward. Uh-huh. Okay. Jerk. All right. Well, that was one more lobster. Actually, two more lobsters. And doesn't look like there are any more quests around here. Doesn't look like anything at all went down here. Really, something should have changed to indicate that that explosion had ever happened. But it didn't. And looks like you're just here manning the restaurant. So, let's head over to the industrial disc. Wait. What's this? It is a quest. You good? What to do? Oh. What? Yeah. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Sure. Uh huh. I need Visigel poison orbs anyway. All right. And now, oh, lobster. Now we investigate the industrial district to see what quests it's hiding. If any. Oh, well, 
looks like it's hiding a turn in. Thought I saw a lobster tag over here. Guess not. So, quest turn in over there. Ah. We needed to talk to you. What do you think? So. Kirsty. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Easy. Here you go. Yeah, I, I can... I can handle this without caring at all. Have fun with that. Sure. Oh, thanks. Okay. Back to the search for quests. Oh, found a lobster without even trying. And... Apparently, Celica is ready for a heart-to-heart. -heart. May as well see what's up. Good day. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> well, that's true. I'm not going to say it. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Eh? Well, he can. Uh-huh. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thus ends that heart to heart. Gonna go ahead and check inside the test hangar. See if maybe there's anything in here. Plus, I can just do donuts. And also, there is something here. What is? Oh. Okay. Sure. Uh huh. Yeah. Easy. No, it's it's easy. Uh huh. Hey, look. Yeah. Sure do. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, old man. Sure. One, yeah. Two, three, She's. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Oh. Uh, I'm... I am the industry head. 
Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Back to doing donuts. It's nice to actually have a skill capable of this. Kind of a weird pop set. Wait, was that? No, that was just a red thing on the ground, not a lobster. Yeah, kind of a weird popping sound the Lila makes when it transforms into skell mode or when it boosts while in the air. Almost like the sound of just a really satisfying hit with a tennis racket. Anyway, let's talk to Kirsty here. Yeah. <laughs> Not even close. Maybe he's good at that. Sure. Uh-huh. Okay. Great. Oh. What's going on here? on the team. But then why are you so bad at Frontier Nav that I was able to beat you at everything, huh? Sure don't. One, two, three, four. Oh, how kind. Sure. Okay. Hooray, we did the thing. And ordinarily, this would be episode ending time, but I'm just gonna real quick sweep the administrative district 
to be sure I'm not missing any quests here as well. Also, lobster. And another lobster. Okay, looking for quests. Anything? Looks like nothing. But that's not really a huge problem. Because if it's nothing, that means I don't have to pick up any more quests. And it looks like it is, in fact, nothing. And since I qualify for so darn many affinity quests, I think next episode we're gonna start really getting at those in earnest. Oh, happened upon another lobster. And I believe the first affinity quest we'll do next episode will be Mia's, because she's a fun character and I want to learn more about her. So yeah, join us next time when we do that. See you then, friends.